In this lesson, we'll take a look at wax, scrape, and fill. So this is 06 begin, and you can see that I've just gone ahead and sculpted a little bit more shape, added a little bit more shape to the head and to the legs. Uh, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to look like this. We're just kind of using this as an example. I want to show you what some of these other brushes will do. And so let's say that we want to add some detail to this, but we want to do it in a, just a slightly different way than we did with pull. So when we use pull, it takes the geometry and pulls it out towards us like that. But what if we want to create more of an effect like we're actually applying more material to the sculpt? For instance, something like a wax or clay where we're slapping clay onto our sculpture. Wax will give us something that looks a little bit more like that. So if I select wax, let me go ahead and reset reset it to default. You can see that we have uh, the same sort of settings here. We take a look at pull and wax. You can see that we do have a couple of wax modes. We also have something that we didn't really talk about, the buildup. So if we come in here and start to add this on top, you can see it sort of looks like it's adding extra material on there. The buildup will build up to that top level much quicker. So for instance, on pull, if we have a slow buildup versus we go to 100% right away, okay? So wax is more like you're adding material. So for instance, I can come in and let's get a smaller brush size. I can add this sort of shell shape. Come in and and add that material on there. It gives it more of a, an addition of mass and volume than let's say pull, which is a little bit more less like pulling out or pulling up the geometry. I can go ahead and, and smooth that back out to out if I want to. I can come in and add new material onto the surface. We have the same ability to change the fall off if we want to. So we could come in and again make that a bit more defined here if we wanted to. Not give it not as much of a fall off. But I can come in and just add a little bit of detail up here for, for instance, like a shell kind of a shape. We could also come in and start to refine maybe if I want to have some sort of scales or spikes coming out the top. You can start to come in and I just add those and then can kind of smooth them out a little bit. Let's go ahead and just add those up. Now right now it's using the flow over. So if we go to settings, you can see flow over, which is the mode. If you have something where you want to actually fill in sort of gaps and valleys, you can use the, uh, the valley mode. So you can see there's a valley mode here. And the valley mode will kind of come in and it'll fill in gaps. Let me get this kind of a smaller brush. So it'll sort of start to fill areas in versus flowing over the top of them, if that makes sense. Okay. It does something similar to what actually a fill will do. So if we choose fill, fill will go in and actually start to fill in those gaps. So you can see here where we've got this sort of wrinkle. If I use fill, you can see how it's not really affecting the two sides. It's more filling in that information in there. So if we've got gaps we want to start to fill, we can use either a fill or we can use wax with that valley mode. You can see here, like on the mouth, I can come in and start to fill that in a little bit. So if you have areas where you've got raised detail and you want to, without affecting that raised detail, you want to kind of fill in the gaps, you can check out fill. Okay. Now scrape is a really cool brush. So we can actually scrape away bits of our model. So let me go ahead and reset this again. And if I want to start to scrape off the top of this, I can come in and start to flatten that. You can see I can kind of scrape off the top. So looking at the normals here and then calculating underneath, I can kind of scrape off bits depending on where I start my stroke, I can kind of scrape off bits here and make this sort of flattened out. Okay, I can do the same thing down here. So it's a nice workflow to be able to use wax along with scrape because it kind of gives you the feel of adding material and then scraping it away. 
which may be something that you're more accustomed to if you're used to working traditionally. Okay, so I can kind of scrape down these little raised areas in here. I can do the same thing up at the front here. So kind of come in and scrape away this. It can also be good for, you know, hard surface pieces. If you've got areas or, or bits that you need to sort of flatten. Okay, so I can come in and start to scrape off the high points, basically. Do the same thing here. Kind of sharpens up that line a little bit. Knock it off a little up here. Can also make it look a little bit more natural just by adding some variation to it. Same thing here. Okay, can come in on the, for instance, on the mouth, and we can start to scrape away the front of the mouth, which kind of gives you a little bit more of a an interesting look there on the mouth, a little bit more detailed. Okay. All right, so we've got the wax, which will add new material. Okay, this can be good for, again, things you want to, where you want to add, like, let's say you want to add more muscle here. You can come in with that wax, and it'll actually kind of add more material to it. Fill will fill in gaps that you may have. So if you have uh, holes or gaps that you want to to fill in with detail to pull it up, you can use fill or you can use wax with your wax mode changed to valley. All right, so you've got wax, you've got fill, and then also scrape is a great way of actually just pulling off the tops, kind of chopping off the tops of uh, some of the detail that you have here. So you, know, you can use it with wax to uh, come in and, and just scrape off bits of that to flatten it out. In our case, we used it kind of on these. You could then come in later if you wanted to, to define those a little bit more. Let's go back in here. And let's make our brush size a bit bigger. We could come in and just pull those up a little bit to give it a little bit more detail. So really, you're not going to be just using one or two brushes even, you're going to be probably going back and forth between multiple brushes. I mean, that's why they're there. They all have their own specific job that they're really good at. So I'd encourage you to make sure to, to integrate those and, and, uh, and be able to use those in the way that they're designed to, to be used. Okay, so let's look at wax, fill, and scrape. In the next lesson, let's look at ways where we can start to get some sharp lines. So we've got these big shapes that we can add and we've got you know we can add mass and, and things like that but how do we get those wrinkles and those sharper shapes built into our meshes so in the next lesson we'll take a look at two brushes the knife and pinch